Hey guys, PC Outcast here, back with more of the Pure Alchemy build from the Single Skills series, and we are... Well, it's morning. We're gonna head up to Farngar and pick a few flowers as we go. And uh, we are going to ask if there's anything we can do for him, and of course he's going to tell us that we're losers unlike him and we can take um, uh, some frost salt to Arcadia and then Arcadia is going to pay us with is that I can get at that I was wondering if that's maybe uh, hanging moss um, she's going to pay us I believe in some fairly valuable potions as well as allowing us to take almost everything out of her store. So that's going to give us a nice little shot in the arm as far as ingredients go. I serve Jarl Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. We're going to learn more about magic. Perspective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winter. Okay. You're the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, a priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Sure. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. And there it is, folks. The ugly truth. You know, they say the Stormcloaks are, are uh, arrogant and racists and whatnot. He just insulted me to my face? This face! Can you imagine? I just noticed they had a, he has a scar there on that side. You know, if he had a scar on the other side too, he'd look like the Joker. <laughs> uh, handsome. Handsome! You know, back in the day, the York ladies just couldn't get their hands off of him, but now... Now he looks like this. Oh, I think I'm actually missing a couple of... Lavenders. Go, lavender. All the lavender. More lavender. Nice. Okay. Well, hello. Nagrub. I help my mother Arab with the hunt. We bring much meat and skins to the stronghold. What are you doing here? How come you have Stormcloak officers' gauntlets? Okay. You look rather pale. Could be a taxia. It's quite a problem back home in Syria. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Farangar first. You could do better. Oh, but I suppose you expect some. I mean, she's a really annoying, and he's Here. actually this also really annoying. Suffice. So maybe that's okay. Potion of Illusion, Enhanced Stamina, Brief Invisibility, which is quite nice. We're actually going to probably end up using lots of Invisibility Potions later on. Back now, let's we'll just save so we don't accidentally steal something. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Don't take that. Nice. Good stuff. Yes. Don't take that. Don't take that. You'll find tonics, that's everything. Salves, and on my oh, oh, that's kind of falling around. 
Uh, won't take that. Nope. Be careful not to take the things that we are not entitled to take. Cross salt, that's very sad. What is that? A sack. Okay. No, uh, yes. Not sure if that's all of them. That's more void salts. Juniper berries, and I think that's about it. Anything in here? Herbalist's Guide to Skyrim. Nice. Ooh, that pushes up us to level, uh, past level 30, actually. And we get a little thing. I think I can take... No, don't take that. Okay, before we, uh, cause ourselves some serious issues. Now, let's level up more health and... Oh, we only got one perk this time. That's very sad. Okay, we're definitely gonna do Experimenter. And now we're gonna nom nom on a bunch of stuff like that, and that, and that, and that, that, that. Um, sure. Yes, yes. Um, yep, yeah, finish that one off. That, that, that. Oof. Health, stamina, and magicka all knocked back a bit. We bring much meat and skins to the stronghold. Anything interesting? Which is you could sort them by value of potion. That would be nice. I look forward to fighting him for cheek. See, we can increase our heavy armor by 13 points. We can increase Conjuration by 80, or by 31%, 32%, and those are worth 8, 81, I believe. Uh, damage, stamina, poison, that's n kind of nice. Yeah, poisons are not usually very valuable unless they're really powerful. What are you looking at? Hmm, I'll do that one. Couple health potions, that doesn't hurt. And... Nice. Alrighty. We're making progress, boys. Now. Let's go to... Falkreath. Just gonna hit up all the towns sell all the things, buy all the ingredients, actually also pick up anything we walk by, like this, this, Lots of mountain flowers. We would be absolutely rolling in ingredients by now if we had uh, either. Is that something back there? No. Either um, harvest. It's called harvest overhaul. Something like that. Or um, uh, complete crafting and alchemy overhaul. Or clean, complete. No, complete alchemy and cooking overhaul. If we were using that with the harvest thing on that, we would have so many ingredients, we probably couldn't even carry it all. So, if you guys want to speed this build along, if you're following along, that is a good option. Thistles are really quite popular. Plentiful. I guess people. I guess they are kind of painful to remove. So people are just like, you know what? 
It can just grow over there. I ain't gonna stick my hands in that. All right, all right, let's just do this the fast way. The main problem, of course, is running out of... Can I do a quest? I'm going to... Oh, dear. I'm going to do a quest for her. And, uh... Call and upon me if get I all this other stuff. Someone new. Take a Let look. me know. If you know. She has frost salts for 309 gold. All of them. Okay. And then actually Take a look. just go ahead and sell her some stuff. Like um enhanced stamina. Don't need that. Don't need those. Those are nice. Uh, actually I should probably pop these on my uh my bar. Illusion spells, don't need it. Um, mine are better. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Mm. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now this one is the most powerful, but this one has... Um, this one has uh, the increased health as well, which is nice. This is not bad against um, mages. And then there's that, which isn't bad, but we're gonna we're gonna make stuff that's way better than that soon. Alright then. Okay, well, let's actually let's just highlight both of those. Actually let's highlight um, all of that. And I uh, man, that is a tiny, tiny little bottle. Um you know what I should have done for this, uh, for this playthrough is got a, um, a bottle mod. Like, that makes all the bottles look better. I mean, look, look, look at this. Looks terrible. Is that supposed to be... It looks like leather sewed together Browse into a bottle, a but I think it's supposed to be some sort of glass thing. Yeah. Actually, please recommend in the comments a bottle, a uh, potion and poison bottle retexture mod. I'd like to uh, let me check that out. She's got a giant's toe. D does Don't she have any quests to do? Um, I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. There aren't many red guards in Skyrim. Well, my f when I found this town with its um, huge why is your store named Grave Concoctions? That's why the inn is called Dead Man's Okay, Green. so she doesn't have anything right away. That's so fine. I uh, could I just use your... No, could I just use your alchemy lab, please? Thank you. Get out of the way. All right. Um, oh, I should probably eat the ones that I'm not familiar with. Let's do that first. That one. Chicken's egg. Lionetta. Hanging moss. Jazz bay grapes. Um, flower. Salt. Daily. No berries. Thistle. Wheat. Oh. Ow. Alright, so we've got damage health now. This does um, 19 points of direct damage. Okay. We have stamina regen poison. Nice for fighting bandits. We've got damage um oh fortify one-handed and damage to, that's kind of not useful because that's a potion so it increase our one-handed but decrease our stamina okay uh that that fortify health you get another one of those and it's a little bit better than the ones we've got lingering damage magica Drains magic by six points for ten seconds. Sounds kind of useless. Uh, regenerate stamina. I'll take that. 
it's low. Slow poison. Mm-hmm. That could be good. Do a couple of those. And let's, uh... Hmm. I still, I need a lot more of these things. To be perfectly honest. Let's make one of those. What's the more... Well, that's getting up there. For value as far as... Um, poisons are concerned. Nice. This is good. Ooh, that's good too. Twenty points. Um, did I? I didn't gain a level, did I? I think so. Well, maybe. No, but I do have a perk. Uh, let's. Oh, I can do poisoner. Hmm. We got the advanced lab too, 25% stronger. Let's do... Yeah, let's go ahead with that. I don't think I actually have enough gold for that yet. That's fine. Someone new. Take a look. Hmm. That. All the expensive stuff and sell. Whoops. Take a look. Press the wrong key. And uh Oh, those are two different potencies. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. Keep that. I'll sell yeah, all of those. Um, honestly, probably not going to use that. Yeah, I definitely need more, a lot more. I'm going to get rid of those two. Definitely need a lot more poisons uh, before I go into battle. Before you even think about going into battle, that is. Call upon me if I can be of any service. Sure. Okay, now let's check out our poisoning device. There you go. Add poison to inflict alchemical effects to the target. Does zero damage. Uh, this poison rag allows you to wipe off any, basically remove any poison and replace it with something else. And I guess we need darts. I might end up just using this. I was going to use a um, melee weapon as well, but since we're not sneaking, maybe just applying poisons from a distance would be a good idea. Oh, well, there you go. It kind of floats pretty far away from my back, but... Oh, apparently I can punch people with it. That's kind of cool. It's pretty slow to use it. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to do that. Looks like you're holding it like a gun. That's kind of cool. Okay. Well, we're down by one dart. Let's continue on. What would be the next best place? Probably just go around hitting all the main, all the main cities, right? By the way, if anybody's curious um, how I have like, everything already discovered, I just typed in the console command TMM 
space one, and that uh, reveals all locations on the map. How are we doing for, uh, for cash? Not bad. Um, do I have any? Yes, there we go. Let's go through the list. Oh, oh yeah! The hag's cure is here for so you're interested in my I love her um, facial art. It's totally awesome. All right, you don't have nearly as expensive stuff. All of it. Thank you. Yeah, it's getting a little bit expensive. There you go. And we're down to almost no money again. Now. About to get poisoned. Completely out the wazoo here. make now. All kinds of goodness. We can do weaknesses. Weakness to poison. 13% weaker. Hmm. Weakness to magic. That's worth quite a bit. That also uh, increases illusion spells. That increases magicka regeneration. Actually, go ahead and make that. And there it is. Poisons, maybe stimulants. Um, I'm going to use a beneficial potion or ingredient, which is mostly going to be um, healing potions, I would imagine. Although it could be any of regenerate stuff, too. Regenerate magicka and stamina. Not really that useful for our character, but do poisoner. We can make better poisons. How are we doing for this? 27 points. 18 points. 27, 27. Five stack. Any of these other things help? No. Okay, I mean, that's getting there. We can make one, two, three, four, five, nine. We can make nine poisons. They can do 27 points of damage each. Don't have any lingering damage yet. Um, that decreases magic regeneration for 45 seconds already. Nice. And stamina. 45 seconds as well. Oh yeah. Just hit like um you know a bandit chief or something from a distance. With once we get uh the multi-use stuff, so you start throwing on things like uh slow and weakness to poison and stamina regeneration. I mean, eventually you just can't even get to you. Archery. All right. Do that just for the experience, you guys. Do that too. Smithing, which we don't need, but what would be really cool if you did a build like this where you only perk alchemy, but you can use any skills, like any skills at all, then this, what would we do? Lingering damage health now. Hmm, 
90. Can I? I can. Um, damages by 27. Resists poison damage. Yeah, that's a potion. Okay, there. Damage health and damage health. Basically, 27 points up front and 9 points per second for 10 seconds. Anyway, as I was saying, if you wanted to do, um, like, an alchemy build that uses all the other skills, then, of course, you can p produce all these potions uh, that will increase, for example, your conjur make your conjuration spells last longer, make your... Um, your destruction spells do more damage. Increase your smithing so you can level, you can um, craft up stuff beyond your abilities and things, you know? Okay, this looks good, except I think what I'm gonna do is wait until we, until we um, upgrade one of these, um, Alchemy tables. See, how about this? Drains magicka. It's not. Is it nine points per second? So that's a total of ninety, or is it just that it? Let's say drain. I think it's ravage that says reduces or something, right? Temporarily reduces maximum and current magicka by thirteen points. See that is not really very useful because it doesn't reduce their stuff very by very much. We got to regenerate health and also resist poison and uh, stamina is increased. Like that. That's also a really valuable thing. Uh, we can make our first invisibility potion. And you can do more restore health things. 30 points. Um, no, no good. 50 points. Poison of stamina that increases health regen. Sounds like a plan. Frenzy. Unfortunately, frenzy is not very powerful. It doesn't last long enough. Fortify two-handed. Sure, let's do that. Okay, so we've got we've got some reasonable reasonable damage um, over time. So let's go. How am I doing for gold? Okay, let's sell her whatever I can. Take a look. I might as well get rid of this. Uh, I'll, I'll just use them. Get rid of those, and that, and that. And, um... You can have those. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. Now you let me know if you need a cure. Okay. You let me know if you need a cure or anything else. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's let's see. Um. Now, ultimately, I do want the house up there, but. We, for one thing, we can't get it right now, and for another thing, we have to kill vampires to get it. We, what, what level are we? Oops. Level five. Two more levels, and we can begin thinking about getting a house. House. We could get the house down, down in Falkreath. Um, and st we could start with that, maybe, if we wanted to. Um, we can have a little garden outside to grow certain things, so that's that's a possibility. So for right now, let's just use Dragon Reach, I guess. I'm gonna go and make those poisons. Late, 
Oh, do I have? I oh. don't have enough money for that. Oh, how unfortunate. Now let's try Morthal. There's a whole bunch of Death Bell and stuff around here. You know what? Let's just wait a few hours till morning so we can see. So everybody can enjoy the visuals. Pretty good stuff around here. And not to mention this entire, this really this entire uh, swamp is a great place to get poisons and, well, actually to get poisoned as well. Citizen. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. Hold the secret of your concerns. And look after you all. Please go about your business. There's no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Chicken eggs. So nice. Nern root. Try the alchemist here now. I bl is it her that has the quest where you can get her ring? Because her ring will make our potions and poisons. Uh oh, potions and poisons more powerful. Well, that's trouble. Is it too early for her? Maybe. We've got some paralysis stuff now. Okay, we actually have everything. We've already researched all that. Let's wait an hour. There she is. If you need any alchemy supplies, I'll do my best to provide them. Assuming I haven't used them all up. Hmm. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Sure. Do you have anything new for me? Yeah. Oh. That was all right. All right, we want... Ooh, barter. Seven <laughs> percent. Great. That's not very powerful. What would be the best stuff here? Pickpocketing. Sure, do a couple of those. Fortify enchanting. That's not worth anything. Fortify heavy armor. Me. Mm. Invisibility more of and hold on to that. Restore his health. How are these? Mm. Oh. Yes. Wow. That's good stuff. Does that get us up to the next level? It does. 
Alright, then we've got Elemental Oil. You may choose a power. Fire Oil, Frost Oil, Shock Oil. At will, create a pool of oil that lasts 20 seconds. It reacts violently when struck by a projectile or explosion. Exploding and dealing damage equal to your alchemy skill level, which right now would be 40 points. Not bad. What do we got here? Bottomless Cup. Poisons applied to weapons last for an additional hit per 10 levels. So that is four extra shots. Now we're talking as far as poisons are concerned, assuming that that does actually work with this specific build. I mean, uh, the the weapon mod that I'm using, hopefully. Okay. Jorgen and I both You're the one looking the for um, Song of the Alchemist. Do I? Don't I have that? No, that's Herbalist Guide. And I did apparently steal that from Arcadia. Whoops. Him. <laughs> How are we doing for, oh. Probably should have sold her stuff. Oh, do come in. I hope I have what you need. I don't get many custom. Take a look. All right, we've got, yeah, we've got bet way better slow poisons now. Let's um, sell you that and that, and those, and the pickpocket ones. It's getting our money level up a bit. I think we're going to be able to make better stuff than this by the time we actually need it. Yeah, so now... We've got, I think, five, five uses for each poison, right? So right now we've got 15 slow poisons, 15 frost venoms poisons with 20 points of damage each. And then the other poisons we make are going to be pretty decent. We might actually be able to clear out a dungeon, like a small dungeon, maybe. Um... Still kind of shy on the gold, though. All right. We're going to go visit some more towns in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any other suggestions about the uh, the build or mods or anything for this, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already done so, uh, subscribe and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for joining me. We'll see you next time.